So a few videos back, you guys watched me change the color of my mirror caps to red. During that video, I actually broke my passenger side mirror, which really sucked because obviously now I had to get a new one. Um, I priced around and uh, even went to a junkyard to try and find a new one. All right, so I just got to uh, pull and save. I'm gonna try and find a uh, new mirror for my passenger side since I broke it the other day trying to Plasti Dip them. And let's see if they'll let a camera in. So they don't have a 2011 to 2017 Jetta here, which is crazy strange to me. They have a 2007 that has nothing to do with my car, but I'm gonna look at it anyways, just because why not? I'm already here, it cost me $2 to get in. Um, because, yeah, America. They tell you what row it's in, but I still don't know where that is. This thing is trashed. Oh, jeez. Well, this was a waste of $2 and the trip over here. Even if I had that year car, it, that, that one right there is definitely trashed. Could never use it. I don't know why they have it here. Let's look at other cars, just because I already paid two bucks, right? So they have a ton of old Jettas, a ton of Passats, and also a few Golfs, but not one GL, <laughs> not one Jetta, not even just a GLI, not one Jetta between 2011 and 2017, which pretty much sucks because that's a long period of time for them not to have that car, especially with how popular Jettas are in general. Um, so pretty disappointed overall, but still a cool place, I guess. Looking around, it looks like they don't have any vehicles in general from 2010 higher, which is kind of crazy to me because you'd assume that they'd still be able to get those cheap and still sell the parts for them. So I'll probably just end up going on eBay or something like that, getting it online. Uh, when I do, I'll uh, show you guys also. Just for laughs, I called the Peoria Volkswagen dealership to ask him approximately how much the glass is for that mirror. Um, he said $117. Me trying to mess with my car cost me $117. I'm definitely gonna find it cheaper somewhere else, but just the idea I think is ridiculous, yet hilarious, yet what the hell did I do? So maybe don't try and do that yourself um, unless you actually know what you're doing. Um, I pretty just much just made up stuff myself and uh, went by what I thought to do, which I'm pretty sure is still correct. I just was uh, too aggressive. So uh, maybe don't be as aggressive as I was. Yeah. They didn't have anywhere near the type of vehicle that I have at that uh, pull and save place, um, which really sucked because then that meant that I had to look on the internet, which is actually probably easier than looking at the junkyard. So what I did instead was I went on to Amazon and I found the Euro style mirrors that my friend Darius was actually telling me about. So on there, they weren't that expensive. I think together they were like 50 bucks each, which is still kind of pricey because I wasn't planning on spending that to begin with. Um, but it's actually really cool. The European style mirrors actually have standard mirror um, style on the main part of the mirror. And then on the outside of a dotted section, it has more of a wide angle mirror. Once I got those mirrors in, I decided, hey, let me go and change this. It actually only took me about five minutes. Um, really cool thing was is uh, I took off the mirror caps just like I did before 
um, by taking off the mirrors first. I didn't break the driver's side one, which is awesome, which means that I can, I don't know, sell that to somebody else that needs it. What's really important when you're doing that process to avoid breaking it is not to put too much leverage on the center of the mirror. And the reason why is because it'll snap right in the middle, just like my passenger mirror did. After that, it was super simple. It says that they're genuine Volkswagen parts, the ones that, the mirrors that I got. Um, I'm not sure if they are or aren't, because I don't know if maybe in Germany they sell the European style mirrors. I'm not sure. Um, to be honest with you guys, either way, they fit perfectly. Um, they looked identical to the stock mirrors that I took off. Had the same connectors for the heated mirrors, which was really good also. Um, so pretty much plug and play. You just have to be careful taking it off to begin with. Other than that, there's not too much more that I have for you guys in this video. Thanks for watching another video by Frankie G as me, and I'm out.